on a Tuesday night inside historic Walsh Gymnasium on the campus of Seton Hall University. We welcome you to Big East Women's Basketball on the Big East Digital Network. It's two of the best in the conference squaring off tonight in an epic Big East tournament rematch from last year. The Seton Hall Pirates welcoming in the Creighton Blue Jays. Great to have you with us, everybody. I'm John Fanta. My partner is the Associated Press great Doug Feinberg. Doug, Sydney Cooks is a star for Seton Hall, and we start with great star power in this matchup. She had 29 in her last game against Providence, looking to carry that into tonight. Yeah, I mean, Coach Flan is worried about her tonight. They played a month ago, and she scored 20 in that game, which ended up being a Creighton 20-point win. So wants to slow her down. Big thing for Seton Hall to have her have a good game tonight. Meanwhile, the Blue Jays are playing some of their best basketball season, coming off a win over St. John's. Morgan Molly is a sharpshooter and a playmaker. Oh, I mean, she's an excellent shooter. 23 in that win they had over Seton Hall. Pazella has got to slow them down. Seton Hall, coach worried about her effort tonight. Really got to make sure they can slow her down to get a chance to get the Seton Hall win. So we've got impact players. We've got two teams in the NCAA tournament conversation, folks. This one means a lot. Creighton, obviously, in the top three of the conference at 10 and 4. Seton Hall at 8 and 5. If the NCAA tournament started today, Doug Feinberg, where would you see these two teams and what does this now mean? I think right now Creighton's definitely in the NCAA tournament. If the season ended right now, they have no slip ups the rest of the way. Seton Hall is in that bubble. You know, February, March about that bubble. They're on it. A win tonight would be huge for them to get off that bubble, go on the right side of it, and in the NCAA tournament. High intensity whenever these two teams meet, and now there's some NCAA tournament conversation stakes. It's the Pirates and the Blue Jays. The 22nd meeting between these two teams. Tip-off is next. With eight on the shot clock, Emma Ronsick gets the Jays started. With two on the timer, Mogensen dumps it down. Ronsick beating the buzzer. Saunders knocks it down. What a hot start for the Blue Jays. Bounce. She could score it too. Here's Saunders. Oh, this is a flying start for Creighton. His teams play with his passion. And that's always great to see, to sort of get them going. The start as you could ask for if you're the Blue Jays. And a tough place to play. Lauren Jensen, six for six are the Creighton Blue Jays. Or Creighton is in the top 30 at 26. That one falls home for Lockett. Off. And an extra opportunity here. Molly. Can't leave her open. Morgan Molly. Ronsick, silencer. One of the big things with this Creighton team, as Jensen hits. Man, are they hot from three. That's a big thing for them. It's per game to lead the Big East. Now an extra opportunity. Ronsick took some contact and hit. Molly, all three of these for Morgan Molly. The seventh trifecta for Creighton. Now Jensen on an island, drives with the runner, counted in the foul for Lauren Jensen. 16-8 and eight since entering the starting lineup. Left wide open and hitting Mogensen, her first points of the game. Jim Flannery stays standing. Back and forth we go. Ronsick in the shooting department. It's infectious. All the way to the bucket. Lauren Jensen has 14 points. So not easy from the defensive scheming standpoint, but when you're hitting. And no Shaylin Hagen tonight for Seton Hall. Ron Sick, my goodness, the Blue Jays are unconscious. Ron Sick fighting. Bachelor, yes. Timeout, Tony Bazella. How about the Creighton Blue Jays flying high in Jersey tonight? Six quarters and change of basketball against this Seton Hall team make it 21. Emma Ronsick, and she's pitching a perfect game with 17 points on seven of seven. But motion offense helps them that way. They turn it over, Saunders cashes in. So that, that's the UConn's playing here also. I'll go watch that game too. So. I'm not opposed to it. I think it's worth a shot. Sell out. Great crowd. So, I mean, that to me is a sign. People are watching. People are interested. People are entertained. That's great. Seton Hall the other day started out shooting so well that Seton Hall couldn't stop them on the defensive end. 
Townsend drives and hits. Debbie's so composed, Saunders, dagger! Rachel Saunders with a dagger three!